What's going on guys? It's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video. So today we got another Friday which means Zer has returned to the tower. So let's go check out where he is and let's see what he's selling to us this weekend. So this is week 20 I believe. This has been uh, quite a bit of weeks that we had Zer. Uh, the game's been out for quite a while, five months about. That's that's quite a while. Time flies pretty quickly. So here we go. So here's his exotic gear. Uh, this is for my bounty. Um, and then so for the gear for the Titan, we have the Mark 44 stand sides like he did uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe. And um, so this one has a slightly lower stat roll on it. And its perks are carrying more ammo for heavy weapons and increases the duration shoulder charge remains active. Uh, this is pretty decent for PvP if you strike your Titan a lot. Uh, just gives you a little bit more seconds on the amount of time that you can have shoulder charge active um, to use it. So not bad. There are better exotics obviously though like Armamentarium or Ruin Wings. So if you're looking for a first one. This would probably be a pass unless you like to use uh, Striker Titan and Shoulder Charge a lot in PvP and stuff like that. And then next up for the Hunter we have the Radiant Dance Machines. Really cool, he's never sold this before. Strength, stat roll, not bad. Uh, its perks are carrying more ammo for heavy weapons and you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. So kind of like I guess Stalker in Call of Duty if you guys play Call of Duty but um, in this game I don't know how good this is. I've never tried it out. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't heard anyone um, that's tried it out. I'm I'm assuming that not many people had this in the game just because he's never sold it until now. And uh, the only way you can get it is probably night balls and stuff like that. So um, I guess I'll try it out probably uh, since I don't have it and I want to add it to my collection. But I'm guessing that the other exotics for hunters like the symbiote, uh, the mass of the third man, stuff like that are probably better or a better choice to wear as or over the Radiant Dance Machines but they look pretty cool and uh, that's why I'm gonna probably pick this up um, so yeah then we got the Warlock Starfire Protocol um, I believe the intellect is a little bit lower this time and its perks are gain an additional fusion grenade and carry more ammo for fusion rifles and heavy weapons not bad um, I'd say the Praxic Fire is better though after using this, um, but I'd say this is a pretty good starting exotic if you're looking for a first exotic as a Warlock and um, you want an exotic to help you gain more light level, stuff like that, level you up higher. Uh, this is a pretty good one to start off with, so you can go ahead and buy this, but if not and you have like Praxic Fire or something better, then you can go ahead and pass. Then we got the exotic weapon this week and it's No Land Beyond. Uh, this one is not very good if you guys have heard already uh, Its perks are increased precision damage kills briefly increased damage against next target and this exotic sniper rifle can be equipped in the primary weapon slot That's not really a perk. I don't even know why it's listed there, but anyways this gun is very bad I would suggest not buying it at all The only reason why I would say buying it is if you want to add to your collection or if you think which probably will happen so you can go ahead and buy it but I think they might buff all the bad exotics like how they did in the previous exotic batch that they put buffs on so they might do that in the future but I don't know when that's gonna happen so that's the only reason I would say you should buy this but if not I'd go say I'd say that you could go ahead and pass and then for the uh, exotic shard, it's still there. And for the exotic engram, he's finally bringing it back and he's selling it this week. So um, I might pick some of these up and open them in the next engram opening video, which will probably be uploaded after this one. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll buy a couple of these probably and along with my uh, legendary engrams that I've been building up over the past week or so. For the upgrade exotics, he has Knucklehead Radar and the Symbiote for the Hunter. Uh, Symbiote's probably the better choice, but he did sell a higher stat Symbiote last week, so most of you probably got that. And then we have the Helm of Inmost Light and the Crest of Alpha Loopy for the Titan. Both of them are just okay, uh, so up to you on that one. And then the next one is Light Beyond Nemesis and Sunbreakers for the Warlock. Um, Sunbreakers may be a better choice, but... 
Le'Veon Nemesis does have the replenish health when you pick up an orb, which is pretty good for the Crota fight on hard mode since there's no chalice anymore. So that might be a better choice if you want that ability uh, because that could be really crucial in helping you replenish health during the hard mode Crota fight. So that's pretty cool. Um, but you can always just buy engrams and get a better helmet instead, maybe. That's just a suggestion. Uh, and then for the weapons, we have Bad Juju, Invictive, Universal Remote, Thunderlord, Galahorn, and The Truth. And I believe PlayStation also has Hawkmoon as well. So, those are the exotic weapons. I'd say Galahorn and Hawkmoon for PS users are probably the two main ones that you want to go for. Galahorn, obviously, for Crota on hard mode. Having Galahorns fully maxed out is really good, really crucial in helping you in the raid. And then next up after that is kind of your preference. I'd say Thunderlord and Truth and Bad Juju are probably the next ones. And then Invictive and Remote as the le last ones in priority. Uh, so it's up to you though, it's your preference. I'd say Galahorn is a must though if you do have the older version. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, go pick up those exotic helmet engrams because I'm not sure if he's going to bring it back next week. Seems like he brings it back every few weeks or so. So pick them up while you can after we've been saving up those motes of light. And that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.